guys, what's up? It's I, Jevin. How is everybody doing? I am back with more Minecraft, and today we're going to be doing an automatic brewing station for all your potions that you love to drink. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? All right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you what I've done here. I've kind of did a little bit of pre-work, that way we don't have to build everything. Um, the first thing that I've done was I just kind of made this wall here. And what I did was I put buttons down and then I put the potion ingredients that I would be using. So uh, instant health, fire resistance, strength, uh, weakness. I think that's weakness. That might be poison. I forget. Weakness, fast, uh, regeneration, poison, night vision, or invisibility. Uh, pretty simple stuff. And then I only use nether ward for potions. So I just use that as my base. And then we have our potion modifiers over here. Um, length. Uh, type of uh, potion so like so this would double the length this would double the type of potion so if it's a potion like one it'd be potion two um, pretty or actually it would be like um, like swiftness potion two or whatever but this is <laughs> I'm having a hard time explaining it leave me alone uh, and this would be splash potion so and we have everything set up over here potion stand and then we have our water bottle chest, and you're like, okay, all I did was put a stair there with a double double little guy there. First thing that you want to do is you want to hook this up to where it's going to um, feed the water bottles into it automatically and make it super easy for you to do. You're already done. That's all you got to do. And all you got to do is put potion bottles in there. It's going to fill this hopper system up uh, really, really easy. Next thing you want to do is you just want to run a line out just like this. Make sure you always... Uh, are running the line together you don't want anything touching so you're doing good already we already got a lot done next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some repeaters um, so one thing that I try to do with these tutorials is make it so that you're not just learning this one way you're actually learning uh, multiple ways to set this up so I'm showing you basic techniques that way you're like you can apply this to what you want to do uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm just placing repeaters down where I put buttons like like that. So the next ones will just be these last ones on top here, just like this. So this is going to give us access to be able to hit the button and only one dropper activate. So what next thing we're going to do is we're going to place some droppers down. And I'm going to use a water system because water systems for potion uh, brewing are probably the best. I mean, you could run droppers and that would be easy too, but let's make sure that dropper system <laughs> didn't look like it at first. There we go. But uh, the water system ensures that the right ingredients go into it at the right time. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a wall down. Um, pick that up. So I'm just going to make this blend in. I'm just going to go right next to it. You just want to leave one wide room here. Make sure you go all the way down just like this. Oh, I forgot a dropper. Okay. There we go. Oh, I want to go up. I didn't want to do that. There we go. Simple enough, right? And then uh, just make sure that it comes to here. And then make sure, obviously, this is going to be longer than eight. Let's see how long this is going to be. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're a little long, but that's okay. Just place it down like that, and that'll be fine. Next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that these are all connected. So you want to place your dropper down first um, because your hopper is going to be sitting right there. So what you want to do is place this facing upwards. Uh, you always work backwards with droppers and hoppers and things like that. Uh, working like that will make sure everything is ensured to go the right way pretty much. Um, and then what you can do is you can just, uh, like I said, work backwards. Just like that. Good to go. Everything is connected. And then all we need to do is place our hopper down down here to make sure it's connected to that. Just to test it. Throw it in, go on the other side, make sure that we can see down there. Uh, one more down, there we go. Hopper was right there, good to go. So when that's powered, everything's gonna go in there just right, and it's gonna work out just, just fine. So I know a lot of you like to build bigger stuff, and that's kind of why I went with a single wall instead of making a room out of it. Um, so if, uh, if you guys do have any questions about this, you can always feel free to just ask me. Um, I do reply to a lot of comments, so you're, you're pretty much good to go here. Now let's go ahead and get our water running. There we go. And like, guys, we are so close to being done already. Like, we're, this is really, really simple. Um, so let's just go ahead and fill in some potion ingredients so we know we can have nether ward here. And then nether ward's over here. 
There we go. And then we're only going to do one potion today, just to kind of show you. So we'll do Glistering Melon. Actually, let's do Strength. Why not? If I can find... There we go. So that's this guy. And then we will do Redstone for the uh, extended effect. There we go. And I think we'll do a Splash Potion. All right, and you're like, okay, everything's done besides one thing. All we need to do now is power these droppers, which is really easy, actually. Um, so what we would do is we would just make a redstone clock out of it because that's going to be the easiest way to give it constant um, power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some redstone and a lever. And you can do this however you want, but this is the easiest way for me to do it, so this is how I'm going to do it. Uh, we're not going to use any delay because we want this to tick as fast as possible. So, But you don't want to tick it so much that the redstone burns out. Uh, piston down below. One block. Break these out right, right here. And then put a lever there. So that's going to be able to let you to turn it on and off. And then you're going to put one something that's going to give it current. And then I actually don't like the speed of that. So let's turn this off. Ah, oh, man, I fail again. No, see, this is what you don't want to do. <laughs> That's what you don't want to do. All right, flick fast. Damn it, I did it again. <laughs> All right, one more try. There we go, perfect. All right, so to give this power, this is going to be really easy as well. Um, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're always touching the droppers on the top part of the block, just like this. So let's break some of this out. And then, so this one's going to be really easy to power as well. Um, so the bottom one is now powered. Good to go. All right, so now for the top one, we're just going to go right here. Um, I actually don't exactly want to do that just because of that right there. So what we can do to fix this is just put some blocks down. Problem solved. So the second one is now getting power. So now we need to get power to the third one. There we go. Power to the third one is done. Now we need to get power to the fourth one. So what you're doing is you're really just building this up, and it's uh, it's really super simple. Um, so let's go here. And it doesn't matter too much, but you don't want to touch up there because that'll be bad. <laughs> and then for the last one, we can just uh, go here and here. And I actually think that might not work. Holy, oh, that ain't gonna work either. I'm just trying to think about how we can power that. This might actually already be powered. Let's give it a test. Um, sometimes redstone is kind of finicky, so you never know. You might actually have all of them powered. What did it? <laughs> I can't see down there, so I can't tell what it's doing. Okay, okay, okay. Did it go into the system already? I've been having this problem where my items will just dis disappear. Yeah, it already went into the system. So everything's powered, you're good to go. It wasn't that hard either. I mean... There's easier ways and more compact ways to do it, but that's that's kind of irrelevant for this point. You you want to get your redstone done as easy as possible. So uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and brew a potion. Let's see. So we'll do another wart. And then what we did, we did strength. All right. And then we did redstone. All right. And then we wanted to make that a splash potion. So everything is in the system now. Everything's going to be filling in. Nether wart's coming up. It's going to take a second. There is our blaze powder. The next thing that's showing up should be redstone, and then the next one should be gunpowder. And this is auto-brewing. So you hit your buttons, let it brew, come back, get your potions. Simple as that. Uh-oh, that's not good. Maybe I hit that too quickly. All right, guys. Well, that that's a lesson learned on my part. I had thought I had taken enough time. But just make sure that uh, you're hitting these in uh, good enough fashion because clearly I didn't do it right. I mean, I gave it time. Let's hit that and let that go. So we see we should uh, see redstone going down the line there. And I, that's that's kind of curious that that actually went in there faster. It kind of it actually shocked me. Um, I'm just kind of watching it to see what happens. But huh? How about that? It, just give it a little bit more time. You'll be fine. So you got your strength potions. You're about to have uh, longer strength potions now, and then you're going to have splash strength potions. And like I said, the main point of this tutorial is not to show you how to build this thing. 
it's mainly just to show you the mechanics that will teach you how to build your own. Um, and since I can't exactly just be like, oh, well, what's your base look like? And I'll build it to fit that. I just build my own, kind of show you guys what to do. So, and I mean, this isn't the most advanced thing in the world. And I know that, but I have fun doing that. So this is a splash potion of strength with eight minutes. And it's about to be a splash potion. Right now it's regular, but, and I'm going to turn that off because that is annoying. That's not the proper way to turn that off, by the way. The proper way would be to hit that button, but since it's all broken now. So these are our splash potions. Super easy to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating below. As always, I really, really need your guys' support here lately. So uh, I hope that we could get like 1,500 likes on this video. That'd be amazing, guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. This is Ijevin. Peace out.